träffar Jesper Kipster Haugard. Hi Jesper. Hi, how you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I'm a little bit disappointed. Just got knocked out of the tournament, but in, all in all, I'm 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 doing I'm doing well. You were you had a huge stack in the beginning of this day. What happened? Well, in the beginning of the day, I was kind of short stacked. I was below average. Uh, then I got a table where, with Gavin Griffin and Mimi Tran, where I pretty much ran over the table and built my 50,000 into about 250. Um, and everything was looking good. I was double average, and I was shooting for the final table, but. Um, I made a couple of mistakes, uh, especially in limit hold'em where I don't have that much experience. I made a couple of mistakes, bluffs at the wrong time, and, and my, slack, my stack just slowly went down and down and down until finally here at the end I get it in with ace deuce against king queen and she flops a king and that was it. So what's your plans for the rest of the World Series? Are you going to play the horse? Um, I've actually been playing a couple of the smaller horse events to kind of feel my way, see how good I am against these players over here. And um, I got to say they're better than me. Uh, when I play online, I generally have success when I play horse. But in, in this live field, a lot of these Americans have been playing horse, you know, as the only game they've ever played for 10, 15 years. And I have six months of experience in horse. So I found out that I'm not good enough to play it yet, maybe in a couple of years. But you're playing the main event? Of course I'm playing the main event, yeah. What start date do you have? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I think they put me, assigned me to 1D, but I might change it. My girlfriend is flying over in four or five days, and I have to kind of fit in with what she wants to do and the plans that she has. So uh, we'll we'll see. I might change it. I have to ask you something about the success you'd had in Sunday Millions. Yeah, it's it's been going real well. Um, two Sunday Millions in 12 months is uh, is not uh, that common, I guess. Um, I guess it's you know beating a, a field of 7,000 players is unbelievably tough and. I've managed to run good. I also feel that I'm I'm pretty good in these very very big fields with a lot of players. Um, that's how I won my first bracelet, also in a in a 2,700 player field. The Sunday Million twice in 7,000 player fields, and I'm good in these tournaments where there's a lot of amateur players, a lot of weaker players. Uh, I'm good at, exp at exploiting when I when I see weakness. Um, so uh, those are the tournaments I'm shooting for, and those are the ones I'm going to be continuing to be playing at the World Series. And obviously the main event fits in perfectly with that. So I hope for success there. Very humble, Jasper. I would say this is huge. I mean, way winning two two millions in in a row like that. So, yeah, I'm obviously very happy. It's uh, it's a cool thing, uh, but I think actually winning a million is is more of a. Um it, it builds to uh, a, a person's reputation for, for us Scandinavian players uh, because financially it's not that lucrative seeing as we pay a lot of taxes on stars winnings so I wouldn't I haven't necessarily made any big inroads in my in my bankroll but it's obviously a big accomplishment and I'm very proud of it what are your plans after this World Series is finished um, I'm going to take a bit of a break, I think. Uh, I took a break up to the World Series, and I think I might take a break after the World Series. It's very it's very tough and mentally draining to play a long series like this. Um, so I think I'm going to take my girlfriend and her daughter on a, on a vacation to Euro Disney, and we're going to hang out there, and we might take a vacation in the sun as well, just to, just to relax. Any other big live events coming up this fall? Uh, I think there is the there's the full tilt the million dollar game, which is right after the World Series. So it's a $20,000 buy-in. I'm probably going to go play that, uh, and then after that, it's break time. Um, after that, it'll be uh, the EPTs when the new season starts up, um, and then I'll just take the take it as it comes. Perfect. It's going to be exciting to follow you in the main event, and I hope for a winner interview soon. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if, if I do win, I will let you have the first interview. Thanks very much. Good luck. Thank you.